So I think I've started to properly narrow it down to one of these two at this point. So both of these seem very reasonable, like the Hydrapple Super Sweet Syrup with the Heatran is very nice. Um, I still need to properly test out the Urshfu um, with the poison. But this is, I think, the alternative version that is more likely to succeed. But this could be pretty sweet as well. Like the Hydrapple is really cool. But the initial idea was that it was Gastrodon and Heatran. It, like, I probably still should test that. I shouldn't just go away from it because Hydrapple's funny. But, yeah, th this seems like it would be pretty reasonable as well. Like, Batscalibur, Iron Heads as coverage for Fluttermane and the Terra Fairies that will happen. I don't trust Icicle Crash, so I just won't. Um, I want to try and get rid of all inaccuracies if I can. The Heat Trend is still inaccurate 90% now. I don't have Super Suit Suit to help, but Storm Drain is pretty useful. So, should still be good. I'm going to go back to testing the... Gastrodon version for now, but I think it's likely to be one of those two because I've gone through quite a few ideas um, to try and get to this point, but it's pro it's probably one of those two. Could easily still change, like, my, like like I've said in previous ones, I don't stop until it's like right near the tournament because then I've gone through as many possibilities as I possibly can. So we'll just have to see. The initial idea was the Gastrodon Heatran though, and it's still pretty sweet. Shouldn't just go away from it. It still could be the one. I don't think Backscalibur is actually pretty well placed right now. Especially if Snow's going to pick up a little bit. That will just help Backscalibur. And Backscalibur is really good against the Articuno team. Just in general. And that's another big reason for Iron Head. Um, because it can Oko Ninetales. So, um, whereas if you have Ice Move, then Ninetales actually walls Backscalibur. So, uh, right, this team. So, this is the kind of team where if you get into Trick Room, you're so sorted. And I believe I will be able to, given that that is not a Terra Ghost on the Chi Yu. So what is wrong with Iron Hands and Porygon 2 here? I don't see anything that's wrong. Then... Baxcalibur is pretty decent here. I will bring it. I think the Landorus is pretty good as well. But, as far as I can see, they have nothing to stop Fake Out and Trick Room. Right? I'm not seeing anything. There's no taunt here. There's no terror ghost here. So there is, there is, as far as I can see, nothing that stops it. So, um, I would be accepting the toxic spikes if I fake out the Glamora. Is that worth it so the Batscalibur gets poisoned? So I could be greedy and just heavy slam here. Because they're actually not that strong. And I don't think a Moonblast into a Meteor Beam will KO the Porygon 2. So I could be greedy, Terra, heavy slam the Fluttermane. I could even heavy slam the Glamora. I'm going to be greedy on this turn one, just oh, just as well, so I can learn, would this combination KO me? I mean, it definitely won't, so. Uh, but that covers the Terra, so I've wasted my Terra here, but I am in Trick Room. So, probably not worth it. I'm going to double protect here, there's no reason not to double protect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to Baxcalibur, so that then I can... But have burned the spiky shield. Um, and then... Um, be able to threaten Glaybrush KO or Iron Head. Oh, they just immediately did Herograss. So I guess I'm completely screwing this one up. Well then. This does seem like a pretty straightforward one, but... Apparently I'm not doing the things I should be doing. I will now attempt to play Rush. And I guess just Terra Blast. This isn't going so well, is it? I think I just took for granted that Fake Out Trick Room is good. And then they can just double protect on this last turn. So yeah, that was not played very well by me at all. I'm 
and they can just double protect here. Like, there's nothing to be done. I'll just save some time and forfeit. They at least revealed that they had Urshifu. I'm having to start a new one of these. Yep. <coughs> so yeah, that was pretty bad from me. I think I'll switch it up to Heatra and Porygon 2. Because saving Iron Hands in the back is probably worthwhile. So I'll switch it up to this instead. Oh, and then now they lead with this. Okay. So that's still fine. Because they can KO the Porygon 2. But they can't do anything to Heatran. And the only way to KO the Porygon 2 would be to go for Overheat. Meaning that the Chi Yu becomes useless. Right? So I will Magma Storm and I will Trick Room. And they will Overheat KO my Porygon 2. Like so. But now they're actually in a awful position because they're stuck overheating against now my Terrifier of Excalibur. Um, what does it have to be? Because like this is fine, the TU is stuck. They're obviously just going to double the Baxcalibur here, so... What I can do is I can Magma Storm and Protect first. And then that will put the Fluttermane in Ice Shard range. Okay, this is fine. So long as it hits. Um, thanks. <laughs> Thank you kindly, because that, that's not quite going to KO, and now that's in Ice Shard range, so... Not sure what that was, but I'll take it. Um, can I get away without Terrestrializing here? Because ideally I want to Terra Fairy against the Urshifu. Because otherwise they'd KO me. Like, I'll survive the overheat with Baxcalibur, but at what cost? Oh, I want to save it. I'm going to try and save it, and I'm going to try and not KO the Chi Yu. Uh oh. Again. Why are you not attacking the Baxcalibur? What's going on? I'm not sure what's happening here. Um, I mean, I can just Terra Fairy and KO the Urshifu here now, right? Yeah, I'm not sure why they've overheated a Heatran twice. So... Then I guess I just Ice Shard here as well. And they didn't protect, so that's surely got to be game over. Um, you know you can click into the Baxcalibur. <laughs> like, not sure what that was. <laughs> um, so I would assume they're less inclined to go with the Chi Yu this time. So I think this is still a reasonable lead. I think this is still probably the best way to go. Like, Fake Out Trick Room is still fine. But they're back to Glamora. Okay, that's fine. Because again, they, they surely can't KO the Porygon 2. Maybe Terra Water into Meteor Beam would actually get it. Potentially. So yeah, this one would be much better for Iron Hands and Porygon 2 as a lead. Yeah, let's see if they're able to... Oh, no, they're just attacking like that. That's fine. I'll take that. That's pretty decent. Now, do they Terra Grass to avoid the Earth Power KO? Because I'm going to... like uh, Terra Blast should KO the Ogre Palm. Like, I should be able to get away with that. And if they use their Terra to survive with the Ogre Palm, no, this is fine. So that's a KO. And this should be a KO. This is good. <laughs> um, then... I can just Terra Fairy on the Porygon 2 now. Right? 
Yeah, that's fine. You're down to Sash. And then it's Iron Hands, and then it's Heavy Slam and Terror Blast, and I win. So, yeah. I, I didn't do very well in that first game, but then this was quite straightforward afterwards. So, yeah. Easy KO. Doesn't matter what more moves I click. But yeah, that was... Oh, wow. That Look at that difference. <laughs> 1200s and 1500s. That's a good thing I won. That would have been a lot of points lost. Because I, like, I gained 8, but... I would have lost like 30. So it's a good thing that I was able to win that one. I did say how good Fake Out Trick Room was and I didn't do it. So. Does that mean that there's just no one around and it's going to take this long to find people as well? Be annoying if that's the case. Because then I'd just have to keep wi winning to gain a few points and not lose loads. Would not be the most ideal thing. I guess people are just not playing it this time. Which is quite annoying. Because I'd like to practice. There we go. And this is an 1100s guy. Okay, 1400s. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. And this is the kind of team that I should be able to beat with my anti-meta stuff. So, um, yeah. Heatran is very good here. Especially because that's the rapid strike, not single strike. Terra Fire, interesting. But then I can just pretty straightforwardly go with Gastron and Heatran. <coughs> Uh, it is Protectless Amoongus, so it's got Sludge Bomb. Uh, it seems like Sludge Bomb is an adaptation that's starting to happen a little bit on Amoongus. Excalibur is very good here. And also Landorus, I think. I prefer not to have to Terra my Gastrodon to avoid the Grass KO from Rillaboom. Because if I can Terra flying my Landorus, that's preferable. So long as the Raging Bolt's been KO'd as well, I guess. Although, to be fair, Stumping Tantrum is still actually pretty good. Right, this is a very good lead for me. I shall simply double the Raging Bolt. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Now you're taking the extra damage. Uh, I will assume they're going to protect on the on the yawn. Or maybe they're going to double the gastrodon actually. I mean that's the one that can yawn, so maybe they knock off and dragon pulse and assume that's the KO. Which would be a reasonable thing to assume. That's fine as well, but, you know, my initial play was better. My initial play was definitely better. However, this is very good damage. And now you be trapped. So do I commit the Terra Poison just to survive? That's probably worth it. Mm. Yeah, it's it's got to be worth it. I mean, it wasn't worth it on this turn. Now they're going to U-turn out into the Incineroar, so I should Magma Storm the Rillaboom again. But I will attempt to Yawn here. If I get this Yawn, I'm sorted. Bit of a shame I used the Terror on that turn, because then they'd have been more inclined to just stay in and attack with the Rillaboom. Mm -hmm, that's fine, there's the U-turn. 
Just again into Incineroar. Got them trapped again. So, like, I am slowly chipping this Raging Bolt. Eventually, I'll just be able to Stomping Tantrum it. Or even just Glaive Rush it. That'd be fine as well. I'm still attempt to yawn here. And I will immediately switch to Landorus, I think. Yep. Is it Carmine again? Yep, it is. That's fine. So, I will do this. I don't know if Dragon Pulse is enough to KO the, the Gastrodon. I'm going to hope not. If they hard switch to Rillaboom, then in that still in range, that would be KO'd. I just need Gastrodon to clutch and survive the plus three. Oh, it's a Moonfist, okay. I mean, I still just need... Oh no, it's Citrus Berry, okay. Um, well, that's a bit more awkward now. Yeah, they've hard committed to this Raging Bolt. And it is working at the moment. However, however I still just double this Raging Bolt, forcing the Rage Powder. And that is a KO. Excalibur now. Oh, Incineroar won't be in range. Because it's got to be Incineroar and Protect, right? Like, there's, there's no downside to that in the slice. What? Oh, okay, fine. It KO'd me regardless. That was surprising, but there we go. Because if I'd have just double protected there, then they would have fallen asleep and then the Raging Bolt is very open. But yeah, I guess I haven't done very well in this one, have I? I've used my Terror as well. I can't Terror Fairy to 1v1 the Raging Bolt. Yeah, I still have to... Well, that's that's okay. That one's okay. That's fine. So I can go for this. Mm-hmm, yeah. Other car mines. That's all right. Okay, they did just Terra Fairy. Fair enough. So that's game over now. So I disrespected the Raging Bolt far too much there. <clears throat> Just couldn't get a yawn into it, which is quite annoying. Still want to leave with Heatran, but I think I'm going to leave with Landris this time. I think these are still the best ones to go for. Because they fully committed to Raging Bolt winning there, because they brought three support Pokemon around it. But I just wasn't able to... If I got a single Yawn into the Raging Bolt, I was fine. But I never did. Oh. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. So... 
guess I will try and Magma Storm here. And... Don't want to commit the terror this early, especially because that makes me worse against Raging Bolt. So, like, something's going to sleep. I think I want a U-turn. Like, something's going to sleep, I just have to accept it. Or I could just get massive damage. No, it's Shooker Berry as well. So yeah, I definitely want a U-turn then. Oh, Ooh. That's decent. That's really decent. Okay, cool. We get the Magma Storm into the Raging Bolt. I don't really care about the Parting Shot. That's, that's not a concern. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um... Magma Storm here and switch back to Landorus. Mm -hmm. Good. That means I can U-turn KO the Rillaboom here, which is nice. And that takes care of that, which means I don't have to Terra the Gastron any anymore, freeing up a Terra on the Heatran instead. Right? They'd have to terrify the Rillaboom to be able to survive that, and there's no way they do that. I will cover for that by going for Earth Power into the Rillaboom, but this should be pretty sweet. And then the Earth Power gets redirected into the Raging Bolt anyway and does a bit of chip. They immediately Terra Fairy. That crit is annoying. So I think I have to lose Gastrodon here. Or not lose it, but you know what I mean. Okay, this is reasonable. So I'll break the Shuckerberry on the Incineroar, I think. Mm -mm. They have to go for Gastrodon. Does not KO, that's good. Shuckerberry broken. Magma Storm to cover the, the Amunga switch in. Attempt to yawn. Will not, because they have to Dragon Pulse. Mm -hmm. Then this should be parting shot. It is. So hopefully the 90% hits the Amoongus. It does. And I would assume that Stomping Tantrum is enough to KO Amoongus. It would be close. Or is it better to go back Scalibur and get the KO? There's got to be a way that does it. So I can't go into back Scalibur to protect and try and KO the Amoongus. It doesn't work because... Um, they'll just spore my Heatran. What's the way around of doing it? Could it be Rock Slide and Heat Wave, and maybe that's a KO on the Amoongus? No, the Citrus Berry hasn't been activated, so that doesn't work. Which way around does it have to be? I think it's Landorus. Go for Heat Wave and Stomping Tantrum into the Amoongus. 
Oh, it was not quite a KO. But this should still be a KO. Oh, because I will hit because zoom lens. So, yeah. I mean, Cinderor should be in range of Glaive Rush, so... I do have Iron Head available. Yeah, they're going to Calm Mind, but, you know. Oh, they didn't. That's good. Um... Yeah, I should Terra Fairy here. There's no reason not to at this point. Uh, ooh, does Dragon, does Dragon Balls KO me? Because then that would be a reason not to. Uh, Raging Bolt. It shouldn't KO me. So Terra Fire might be better, actually. Might get a flinch as well. Mm hmm, cool. Yep, yeah, that allowed the Magma Storm into there. That's good. And then just do I beat the Raging Bolt with enough Magma Storms? Uh, no, I don't. So, yeah, I need to save the, the Batscalibur there. Because Magma Storm runs, run, um, runs out, so yeah, it doesn't work. If I because if I saved the Terra for the Heatran, then I'd have been able to Terra Fairy, um, stall out the Thunderclaps. And if I just catch the Not a Thunderclap with one Magma Storm after it's run out, then I should win. But yeah, I lost too much there, and that's quite annoying because that was a very basic. It's just full support the Raging Bolt. And I feel like my team should be able to just break through that pretty comfortably. So I can still try and stall out the Thunderclaps. But they should Dragon Pulse and win. So yeah, that's annoying. Because that's the kind of team I feel like I should be good against. Because if they're just like fully supporting, that's quite passive. It's just because I never got a Yawn into the Raging Bolt. If I ever get a Yawn into the Raging Bolt, I'm completely sorted. But at least I found someone pretty quickly this time. Um, it's clear amulet and unaware, makes sense. Pretty reason we just go for trick room here. It's choice band, okay. Yeah, I think I will just start off with this, I don't see a reason not to. Uh, Landorus is useless here because it's got Clear Amulet, so it's definitely Gastrodon at least, and then is it Baxcalibur or is it Heatran? <clears throat> I think I prefer Heatran and save the Terra for Terra Fairy. Is it worth just immediately attacking? so that I can get the K on the Glamora, rather than fake it out, get Toxic Debris, because they can't KO me. Ooh, interesting. However, that did not help you, because this should KO. It did not KO. Interesting. That was a cool play. Because they can scary face themselves again. That's pretty reasonable. However, I'll go into Gastrodon here and I'll Terra Blast the... Because they're going to scary face themselves again. Yeah, that's reasonable. But now I can just get the Yawn into the Dondozo. And two Ice Beams KOs this Tornadus. So, this is good.
Mm -hmm. That's fine. Pigment Storm won't do enough. This is, wow, almost an Oko. But I definitely still yawn here. Um, I could switch into Tatsugiri for the Dondozo slot. That would be reasonable. No, they accept the yawn. That's fine. What's the correct way of doing it? I think it's Heatran, it's Terra Fairy, get the Magma Storm and just recover so that I can definitely Trick Room at the end. I mean, I can Trick Room anyway, right? No, it's because like a plus three wave crash might get me. So this is just the safest thing to do. Connect with the non-Zoom Lens Magma Storm, which is nice. Yep, it was just EQ. They go to sleep, I Trick Room once again. chip. They stay asleep again, then I'm completely sorted. They do. That's good, because now I can get hopefully a magma storm into the Tatsugiri for extra chip. Good. Because now I can go for Heat Wave and Terror Blast and that should be a double KO. game pretty much sealed at that point. What do you even have for just fake out trick room? Excalibur is still decent here. I still like the heat tran. That's reasonable. But I can just Terra Fairy in Trick Room here, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, that's good. Because now I simply... I don't simply, which is the correct way around. Because I can KO the... Um, it should be Terra, Terra Blast into the this thing, because then... Close combat won't KO the Rillaboom. I think I should still go for it anyway, right? Okay, that's fair enough actually. So I don't get a KO on either Pokemon here. But they KO themselves, which is good. And they should KO my Iron Hands. Because Choice Band. So now, still go Gastrodon, because I can still yawn here. Ice Beam should KO. But I can't Terra my P2 anymore. Let's just do they sack the uh, Shifu. Because if they hard switch Tatsugiri, recover is better first. But they don't KO my... Yeah, okay, cool. I got that right. But they wouldn't have KO'd my Gastrodon regardless. Okay, that's good. And then, yeah, just attack. Still very reasonable chip. Hopefully I get a two turn sleep, because if I do, again, I believe I am sorted. And they can't, and no, actually I'm, I'm still fine. They can't wave crash, and they can't order up. 
Oh, look at this. This is actually a really sweet combination of eating Don Dozo. That's cool. Like, yeah, they did say asleep, but uh, yeah, I've only just realized that. <laughs> Game is now very over. But yeah, that's actually... Look at that. That's unintentional, but really good at being able to beat the Don Dozo. Nice. So initially I was Terra Ghost. Terra Ghost wouldn't have done that. Yeah. Nice. I like that. That is pretty sweet. It's nice when you discover things like that. 